Lifter's bodyguard. Killed by knife. This part has been broken, and it's covered in blood. A weapon, maybe. Blood. Could be Tefters, if he was the heavy thing being dragged. Muddy footprints. Someone was hiding back here. What's happened here? Open this door! Come out of there! still has a little something stronger. But why is it here? Better hold on to it. So, what does this lead to? The murderers hid here, lying in wait while we approached outside. They jumped from the shadows to kill the bodyguards. And to disable Tefta. Then they dragged him away. That accounts for everything. Except Willem's pouch of herbs. I'm still unbalanced by Gwilym's special something. Maybe Mother Modron will know the contents. There he is! What is the meaning of this? Blood soaking our soil, and your weapon coated in the same! Kunan, please. More has happened here than you can see. Give me a right to parley my innocence. I should have heeded Tevder's misgivings about heathen party guests. And now he has paid with his life. With Tevder gone, Glowichester will be without an elderman. Eye for an eye, your Raven clan will lose their chieftain. Get the murderer!
Are you ready to rhyme with me? Down the road, from my abode, there is an open veil. I've been here knocking and the walking. Now give me cake and ale. Brilliant, that is! Hello again. Mother, it's the friend of the mangled leg man. Eivor, you remember? Indeed. It's a surprise to see you. Is everything quite all right? Do you recognize the contents of this pouch? A very unusual blend. There is a druid who uses this mix to aid sleep. A monk called Gwillem poured some of it into my drink last night. The effects were intense. Search the houses! Can't have gotten far! Damn Christ, sons, what is it they want now? They make this place unlivable for pagans. Mother, if the stranger wants more of the herbs, they can talk to the druid Halewyn. Yes. Halewyn's cabin is on a lake near where the Cherwell and Great Ouse rivers meet. But he is a strange fish. Rarely does he speak to mortals, preferring the company of spirits. Now, I have business at Rollandrich. Find me there later.
Must be the home of the druid. The fellow's land is peopled by men of straw. Said. Maybe I should disguise myself. If you be mortal, I will not speak. I am waiting for the spirit. They come. They come. You may not speak to Avor, but perhaps you will speak to the spirit of the Mary Luid. You may not speak to Eivor, but perhaps you will speak to the spirit of the Mary Luid. may not speak to Eivor, but perhaps he will speak to the spirit of the Mary Luid. Spirit, you have finally come! Days ago, a passing cloud foretold your arrival with droplets of sun-scented rain. But what form of being are you beneath this guise of horse and bone? From the realm of the Fae? I know you cannot say. I, I press no more. Whatever you be, now you are here, the ritual may begin. Oh, but the men of straw must announce you with sparks. Ignite the sky to begin anew, here at the death of the season. Until then, I await you, giving thanks in the glen. Halen 
Someone said the wicker men must announce me with fire. Perhaps I should set them ablaze. Uh, a wicker man speaks. Now let them speak in chorus. Yes, another joins the throng. Another. Let there be cacophony. One more. One more. To me, O oh wind. I have come to ask you a single question. Something about your demeanor and your physical manifestation now gives me pause. Are you truly a spirit of light? I am a spirit as any other. Then prove it. You must know the depths of the world's mysteries before I will help you. Tell me the proper use of charms. Very well. Ask your riddles. Man and woman are made of earth, of water, and wind. Which charm clods the earth, dries the water, and stills the wind? Give me a measure of time. Are you a spirit of darkness? If it be not so, come back and try anew. What are these things he's asking me? There must be trinkets around his house that will help. A hangman's noose, a knife, and the vile smells of poison. Three ways to kill someone. upside down. Their mouths are open, like they've been screaming secrets. Two ladles carved from a single branch. The grooves match. <laughs> this symbol is one I've seen carved into shields and headstones. To me, O oh wind. Have you found yourself? If you are a spirit of light, answer me this. Man and woman are made of earth, of water, and wind. Which charm clods the earth, dries the water, and stills the wind? Threefold death. Stops life's wind, returns a body to earth, and renders water into poison. Threefold death is the charm. Which is the charm that weds souls? The charm of the double spoon. Yes, such that a wedded pair can sup broth together. Which charm is it that gives speech to the dead? The skull soul's charm. Summons voices from death's realm, 
In such fashion, I speak to druids long dead. But of course, you, a spirit, would know that. <laughs> you are a spirit of light. Mabon be praised. Would you like some bread and cream? No, just the answer to your question. This herb pouch made its way to Gloucester in the hands of a strange man. Do you know it? Aye. A mix to help him sleep. I filled this very pouch. And over a dandelion wine, he spoke fondly of his home, Kuth Lodrin. Kuth Lodrin? <clears throat> very well. I thank you, Halwyn. But this spirit has others to visit this harvest moon. Go with the wind and leaves, good friend of the hills. Kuth Lodrin. Strange name. Meanwhile, Motrin awaits me at the stones nearby. <laughs>